The Duelist was the first film from director Ridley Scott and stars Keith Carradine and Harvey Keitel. And it's the story of two Napoleonic soldiers in 19th century France, Hubert, Keith Carradine, is sent to put the obsessive Faro, Harvey Keitel, under house arrest after killing the nephew of the mayor in a sword duel. Faro is a man that takes his dueling very seriously, and believing Dubert has insulted him, thus begins a conflict that stretches over many years, as the two duel until there is a victor. Ridley Scott is one of my favorite filmmakers. He's made a lot of films that I really enjoy, some of which are some of my favorite films ever made. And there's some films that he has made that aren't particularly that great. But I was really interested in seeing his very first film and just seeing what it was like. First off, I think the rivalry between Dubert and Faro is really strong and it's brought to us by these two terrific performances. Keith Carradine and Harvey Keitel are really great in this film. It's these two very strong performances that really carry you through most of the film. Now some other things I really like about the movie. I love the setting and the costuming. This film takes place in 19th century France and it looks exactly like that. A lot of the detail is there, the costuming is fantastic, and just the whole look of the entire movie is overall great. And that leads into the cinematography as well. Ridley Scott always has a keen eye for cinematography. All his films look really good and that's not an exception here. This film looks damn good. Oftentimes looking like a painting you'd see from the 19th century. It's beautiful to look at. And the last scene of the entire film is one of the most beautiful shots I've ever seen in a film. In fact, I'll just show you a little clip of it right here. See, it's absolutely gorgeous. This film is just beautiful to look at. Also, something that I really enjoy is, of course, the sword fights, the duels in the film, which, if this didn't work, the entire movie would have failed. These duels are so well executed, so well choreographed and filmed that it's just fantastic to watch. These are very brutal and intense scenes. I'm always a sucker for sword fights in movies, and this is some of the best sword fighting I've seen, or at least the most brutal. They're of course the highlight of the film and the main focal point of it. Now some things I don't like about the film, I do have a problem with the editing. The editing is very good in the fight scenes, however the editing can really be pretty terrible through the rest of the film. There's some points that are just edited so awkwardly and people will start saying something and it's just awkwardly cut and then you you're taken to somewhere else and then you have another awkward cut there's just a lot of awkward cuts in this film and it's kind of annoying also i think the movie has a real bad pacing issue this movie is very slow which is really weird because it's only an hour and 40 minutes, but sometimes it can feel like three hours. Which goes into my biggest complaint of the movie, is that it's ultimately just very boring. The performances are fantastic, the fight scenes are fantastic, cinematography great, however, the movie can't escape that it's just really not that interesting. I found myself just constantly looking at my phone, seeing how much time we had left, as well as just playing on my phone, which I hate doing in a movie, but I was honestly just disinterested what was happening on screen, unless it was during these sword fight scenes. These are very well done, and they keep your attention, but the rest of the movie is just kind of dull. Overall, guys, The Duelist is a fine film with some great cinematography, great acting, great choreography, but 
it suffers from some editing and pacing issues and ultimately just being boring. I'm still really glad I saw this film because you can really see that Ridley Scott has an eye for filmmaking here. This just isn't his best work in my opinion. And with all that said, I give The Duelists a 7 out of 10. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the review, so don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next review.